breathe. Help me, please. Oh, Daniel. It's so nice you dropped in. <laughs> Who are you? Do you care? Yeah. How sad for you. Am I dead? Not yet, Daniel. It was a long way down. I did fall forever. Maybe you live. Maybe you don't. Hmm. Nothing you can do about it. Why am I here? You need to see the truth. Layers and layers of lying you. Such a little liar. Better stop. Or you'll never find what you need. The only thing I need is Stella. Stella is not a thing. People are not things, silly you. Maybe you'll find her. Maybe not. You better tell the truth, Daniel. Why? Where is she? Where is my daughter? Do you even know what she loved? Please, stop. Back so soon, Daniel? I didn't really expect you to stay with us. I couldn't have been still. Will I ever see my daughter again? Oh, unless you give up. You will see her. The question is, do you really want to? More than anything. But the more I look for her, the more I feel lost. I once knew this forest so well. Now everything feels different. Nothing makes sense. I just want to bring her home and never come back. Everything makes sense. You just don't see it the right way. Oh, you found the journal already. That was quick. Was it buried very deep? Shh, don't tell me. Let it be your secret. <laughs> See you soon, Daniel. Dead again? No. This time I can move around. Blame Stella for starting the fire, didn't you? Of course. Everyone said she did it. Everyone, Daniel? Or was it just Oscar? Did you even bother to find out what really happened? How the hell do you know about him? Anyway, the vast majority of the camp expenses were paid by his father. Even if Oscar lied, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Oscar's father had so much influence. One wrong word from him and... So, you sold out your own daughter? It wasn't like that. No? What have you done to protect her? It was her fault. Her only crime was to try and put out the fire and not let the guilty ones burn. Wasn't she only nine years old? No, Daniel. Unlike yourself, your daughter looks like the hero to me. 
But... You've seen enough. You have to think about this for yourself. Get out of here. Go up and play with your dolls. I don't have time for your nonsense. What are you doing? Get away from... Daddy, your hand's bleeding. I'll get Mommy. Oop. That must have hurt a lot. I got lucky. I could have lost a hand. It was Stella's fault, right? She didn't obey me. If she'd gone to her room, like I told her to, it never would have happened. And what if that saw blade had fallen on her? Hey, don't forget that I was the victim. Really? Is it just a coincidence that ever since that day, you never wished her good morning or read her a bedtime story? No, oh, Ida was always better at that silly crap. If you say so. What do you want? Oh my god. Stella, you're totally soaked. Come inside. She is not coming in until she apologizes. Daniel, please. She's so sick, we can't leave her outside. I don't care. She should have thought of that before running away. Call the police and tell them to cancel the search. I don't want to get a fine on top of everything else. You call the police. I am taking her inside. I'm sorry, father. <laughs> please let me in. <coughs> you will never. <coughs> Never do this again. Swear it. That's enough, Daniel. She apologized. Let her in before she gets pneumonia. Did your little lecture help? No, obviously not. Or I wouldn't be here in this hell. But it was the first time she ran away. And I wasn't prepared for that. Despite Ida's whining, she didn't end up with anything serious. All she had was a fever, which was gone in three days. What bothered me the most is that I never found out where she'd been. So, well, I took some special precautions. You started spying on her. More like protecting her from herself. I had someone install a little tracking app, which constantly sent me the location of her cell. Since then, I've always known right where she was. Until you returned here. Yeah. I knew this time was different. At first, I couldn't believe she would come back here. But I'll find her, no matter what it takes. <laughs> Keep looking, Daniel. <laughs> this is so much fun. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? I was afraid to. Afraid of what? Of you! That you would refuse! Fine, you can stay. But only under two conditions. Anything. No running away. Do it once, and you're gone. Don't ever come back. I... promise. That's not all. You'll stay with me alone. He messed up your life enough as it is. <laughs> Please don't. You're still too young to decide these things for yourself. But I can't be without him. You should have told me earlier. Much earlier. It would have been much easier back then. 
<laughs> Please. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Maybe you... That's the last thing I have to say. And these are my two absolute conditions. Trust me that I only want the best. Damn. I wish I knew what that was about. I don't even remember that talk. <laughs> you don't, do you? If I were you, I would also try to forget. It's quite important to remember now. So try not to space out again. Wait, what do you mean? She's gone. Beautiful it is there. Sure, I know, but all our friends are here. Also, there are no jobs there. Everyone is moving out from the north these days. When do you want to move? January. <laughs> That's bullshit! There's no way I can get everything ready in just two months. Well, you'll have to, because I already sold this place. You did what? Are you deaf? I told you, I sold this place. We're moving. You sold it and didn't even ask me? I bought it, and I sold it. Then I got us a new place in the north. Who the fuck do you think you are? There is no way that I... that we are going there with you. I'm moving with you or without you. It's your call. I don't care. We are not moving to the north. Not in a million years. For all I care, you can sleep under a bridge and take that useless brat with you. You will not speak about my daughter like that. And you better shut the fuck up. Or... Don't push it, Ida. Oh. Really? And what would you do? Bring your blonde... I hope you're happy with how well you handled all these annoying little moments with your wife. And how you even managed to conceal the real reason why you had to move. Well done, Daniel. Anyway, after that night, you all moved to the north. Since you are such an excellent negotiator, you've truly earned your way back. I am not taking any more of your time. You can fucking shove it! And what about her? You know, she has a name. Stella only runs away from you. Not once, not twice, every fucking time. I'd say it's pretty easy to tell who she doesn't want to live with. Really? Well, I bet your piece of shit boyfriend is who she's actually running from. <laughs> Unlike you, he is actually worth something. <laughs> His money is the only thing that grabbed your attention. And you knew just what to trade for it. Always the same with you. Maybe I am just tired of living a crappy life with an asshole who cares about nothing but himself. So you kick me out and let a loaded pedophile in. You were always so damn stupid. One more word about him and this discussion is over. Permanently. <laughs> it's always so much fun watching people hurting each other. It's hard to come up with a really good insult. Although, truth be told, yours were so pathetic. Maybe this time Ida finally surprised you. Poof! Your perfectly planned little world goes up in flames. It was that lawyer. If he... Oh, are we lying again, Daniel? Don't forget. The first time Stella ran away was purely because of you. Yeah. And it's also me looking for her in this hellhole. While those two are drinking their overpriced wine, totally oblivious to the fact that she's missing. Is that so? Then go home. You don't have to be here. I don't think this trip came with a return ticket, and I'm finally starting to understand why I deserve all this. <laughs> oh, poor little Daniel. You know what? You're boring. Come back when you're more fun.
Do you even care how expensive those were? Do you think I just shit money? I'm sorry, Daddy. I just tripped. I didn't mean to. Tripped? How about you try to be, at least once in your life, useful? Everything you ever touch breaks or spills or... So what happened, Daniel? Did your little Stella kill someone? I don't remember. I don't even understand why you want me to see this. Hmm, let me refresh your memory. On that very day, two wine glasses silently stood on the table. You might even remember when Ida brought them home from Ikea. When Stella tripped, those glasses, which must have been oh so expensive, fell down to the ground and <gasps> shattered. And? You sent her to bed. And I am sure you want to know what happened next. Daddy, please don't do that. Why not? Maybe now you'll learn what losing something important feels like. And it's the only thing Grandma left me. Take all my toys, just please. Please don't take my doll. Not gonna happen. This is the only way to teach you. So, you took the doll, went outside, tore it up, and threw it into the trash. You must have been really happy with yourself. I bet little Stella finally understood how to appreciate things, right? And that's all for now. Ta! So, this is it. I'm finally dead. Right? It took him quite a few tries to get me. Tell me, Daniel. How have you found Stella? Stella? Oh. Right. My daughter. I went to the woods looking for her. It was such a long time ago. And have you found her? I don't think so. There was Leah. His little girl. Or was she a doll called Rosie? I don't know. Maybe she was Stella, and I just didn't recognize her. And that woman, Eleanor, something got to her, and she jumped off the cliff. Or maybe she was just another figment of my imagination. Look into your heart. Do you think she was real? I wish she was, but somehow, nobody I've met in these woods feels real. And that includes you. And you, Daniel, are you real? Yeah. It doesn't matter now, does it? At least I no longer need to fight for my life. Your story is not over yet. You will return one more time. It's up to you what you do with your last chance. Be careful. The beast is closer to you than you think. And that's what really keeps you from finding your daughter. Monica didn't say anything until it got dark, and my parents started searching frantically for me. And even then, she only told them that she thought she saw me playing near the old well. They had to call emergency services to get me out. The next day, I got a high fever and ended up in a hospital with pneumonia. And your sister? Even as a girl, she was already a typical woman. 
denied everything, told my parents that she never knew I was in the room. I never talked to her again. Women. They always find a way to lie their way out of everything. And it's usually them. Hey, where did you go? Where have you been? I went for groceries. The fridge is empty and I needed something for breakfast tomorrow. Groceries? It's past 11. There was this idiot who parked so badly he blocked my car and I was stuck. It took them like an hour to find him and then he had to go and find... What are you doing, Dan? Well, they always put the receipt in the bag. I just want to see it. So what? I paid it with my own money. Leave me alone. For once? Please? I'm not looking for the price. Ah, here it is. Let me see. <laughs> what is this shit? An interrogation? Well, you did go shopping, but when you paid the bill, it wasn't even five o'clock. If your bullshit about the car was true, that's still five missing hours. Care to tell me what you were doing all that time? Okay. I met an old friend that I hadn't seen for many years. So we talked for a long time. Listen, I'm sorry, can this just end? I want to take a shower, and I'm exhausted. Where did you go with her? That's enough. I can do whatever I want, and you have absolutely no right to interrogate me. I'll tell you what we both know. You've been cheating on me again, and you are so stupid that you let the whole world know. And here's a little surprise for you. I know exactly where you've been all this time. Piss off, you fucking creep. You're spying on me? Oh, no. I'm just concerned for your safety. Or maybe I just like taking precautions to see when you're fucking your friend. I'm keeping track of all the days when you came home suspiciously late. Of course, I could drive to his house and pick you up, but it would be too much of a hassle. You are crazy. And I want to ask you one more thing. Were you also grocery shopping when Stella was conceived? What a great detective you are. And such clever methods. I got it. You're the new Sherlock. She was cheating on me. I'm not even sure I believed Stella was my daughter, after I found out how often Ida was screwing around behind my back. Truly, you are the last honorable man on Earth. Although... Nina, that was her name, right? What about her? <laughs> I believe she was more than an instructor to you. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's time for you to return. Stella is still waiting to be found. Out of your tent. I'm staying here. Not gonna happen. Get out here and help me right now. Just let me die in peace and go away. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? I. You wouldn't give a shit anyway. Last month you were obviously well enough to run away. Do you know how much time it takes to find you every time you decide to pack your shit and take off? So I'm gonna say, right here, right now, what I think of you. You're a spoiled brat who can't handle any responsibility. Whenever you don't want to do something, you suddenly turn into a crybaby and fall mysteriously ill. In other words, you're total bullshit. Did Stella ever tell you why she wasn't at camp last year? Even though Alexander was there? No. I, I thought she didn't want... She was in a hospital. I don't believe she was there because of fake pain. Oh, that's crap. No. It just shows how little you really cared. 
Apart from your self-proclaimed duty to track down her cell and bring her back home. But how could I know? She lives with Ida. If they won't tell me... You're lying, Daniel. Last July, you never bothered to call her. Even once. Otherwise, you would have known where she was. She wouldn't accept a call from me. <laughs> and you should ask yourself, why was that? You know, you really should work on your voice more if you want to sing. Staying in tune and keeping in rhythm, it's something anyone can do, so uh, at least try. You don't want to end up like Hetla. Hello again. You're Stella, aren't you? The true one. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I'm so sorry for everything I ever did to you. I didn't realize. Didn't I tell you that you'd find what you were looking for? And that you might not like it? You didn't believe me, right? But I'm happy that you kept looking until you found the truth. You also showed that you deeply care. And that is something which deserves more than just an end. What do you mean? Don't you understand? The clock is you. As soon as it's gone, you're gone as well. So, why should I stop it? The guilt inside you asks for that. And at this point, there's no way to prevent it. But, I want to give you one last thing before it does. W what is that? Farewell, Daniel. Now. Oh, all right. Just don't go too far. You know where we are. 